Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline, where we explore the interaction between Adobe Photoshop and After Effects. Today, we're going to explore a really cool, powerful transition, which is the gradient wipe. This lets you basically use Photoshop as a giant plugin to create custom wipe patterns, essentially going from the darkest areas to the brightest areas, or vice versa, to create your own custom animated transitions. This is a really cool effect that's super versatile and works great for titles or footage layers or transitions for an edited piece. I think it's really quite flexible. Here's how it works. In Photoshop, you're going to create some textures. So I'll just have a new layer here. We'll fill it with 50% gray. And then we can go ahead and run a filter, such as to just real simple render clouds. Every time you run that filter, it looks a little different. And you could use levels to go ahead and punch things up a bit. Play with sort of the midpoint of the grays. And you get the idea. Let's go ahead and save that. We'll just call that clouds. And jump on into After Effects. We'll bring that in as footage. Now, we place that footage layer into our comp. It doesn't really matter where you place it. After Effects can find it. So you could put it in and turn the visibility off or tuck it all the way at the bottom of your timeline there. Pretty straightforward stuff. Let's grab that text layer in this case, and I'm going to choose Effect, Transition, Gradient Wipe. Now, by default, the gradient wipe doesn't have a transition layer. So as you start to assign it, it just does a very simple sort of wipe. But what you want to do is actually choose the layer you want to use. And so here, we've assigned that cloud layer. So as I go through, it transitions from the lighter to the darker places and creates a nice reveal. Now, let's go ahead and keyframe this. We'll do a nice reveal. We'll say transition complete 100%. And we'll go to about five seconds there and set that to zero. Now, when you watch that, it's a little bit rough. And that's because by default, the gradient wipe has a hard edge. Now, even if you're using a soft gradient, it still creates a literal clip. And the way you refine this is with the softness setting. So if I crank up that softness, you see as the transition occurs now, you get a little more reveal. And it gently comes in. If you want to increase that, just crank the softness up and you'll get a gentler transition. There you have it. Works pretty well. Now the cool thing here is that you don't just need to use cloud gradients. You could use any type of gradient. I'm going to show you a few to give you some creative ideas. Now I've got a folder here that I've imported of some different gradients. And let's just select this layer and we'll do Option Drag to replace. That drops it in and I'll do Command Option F to force fit that so it fits the whole size. There we go. You see it's creating a cool transition, sort of water-like. Brings that in. Or some beams. Command Option F and drag on through. And if you don't like the direction it's going, in this case from right to left, just select that gradient wipe and you could tell it to invert the gradient. And there it wiped the opposite direction from left to right. So you see a lot of flexibility. And there's all sorts of options. Here we sort of have literally a window washer effect. Let's just select that layer, hold down the Option key and drag it in. And as we drag through, you see it reveals sort of left to right doing a back and forth motion like a window washer scraping the windows. So all sorts of things that you could do here, from twirls to sweeps to bubbles to soft patterns. It's really up to you. And as you just experiment, it's as simple as an option drag to replace the layer 
and you've got a different gradient. And if it's almost right, you could easily jump right into Photoshop and tweak the layer, giving you a myriad of all sorts of custom transitions. Apply this with a gentle scale or position move for your text layer, and you've got a pretty cool text effect. For Creative Kyle, my name is Rich Harrington, and I invite you to head on over to the forums and check out some of the great support that's happening there, as well as a huge library of additional video tutorials to check out. Thanks again.